Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today it's gonna be a fun one. I thought I'll be reading of banned books, so let's get going. So this is one of the books I will be reading, the Poet X by Elizabeth Aguilino. So I actually, oops, I actually don't know what it's about, but um, basically we have uh, about an Afro Latina hemorrhoid who tells a story with blazing words and powerful truth. And my next one is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Radbury. So it's like a stand as a classic of world literature set in the bleak dystopian future. The day is message has grown more prevalent than ever. So this guy was bad because it's too gruesome and something like that, but I remember reading something about it, how that's like an actual scary story. I can't remember what's the about, but I'll eventually talk about it later in the vlog once I find out. But the poet X is banned because of sexuality in adolescence and its claim of being anti-religious and having alternative beliefs. So that's why it's banned and I just thought it would be interesting to read banned books. Let's get going. Okay, guys, so it's a little bit later, um, it's the next day, so I'm right now about 22% of the Poet X. Um, I don't know how to feel about it yet. I think there's some interesting points to it. It shows uh, kind of what the struggles of the character is going through. I thought the author's did a nice job of that, but yeah, it's only a really short book. It's only four hours, so... That it's easy to get through. But um, yeah, I don't have much to say about it. I think it's a really interesting book that so far. But yeah, that's all I have to say at that moment. So I do want to keep on reading and finish off the book. Okay, hi guys. So I just finished reading the Poet X. I don't know how to feel about it. I think the narrator was doing too much. Like, something about the narrator was just doing too much of certain things. So I don't know how to feel about the book. Um, I think the narrator could have stopped what she was doing. I didn't really like how she had said, like, how she had narrated the story. Um, she was really doing too much. But for the story itself, um, it was interesting. I don't know how else to say it, but it was interesting. <laughs> I really don't know about the book. Um, it was a really hard read, that's for sure, because we are showing X who had no name, so that's why they're calling her X. And she really likes to write poems, and so that's why, you know, poet X. But um, it was really hard to read, like, as, and what the X has, has to go through. Her mom wouldn't really let her do things, so she has to go by God's rule. But, like, no kissing, no boyfriend. It was a really harsh life for her. But, I think the final straw for X was when her mother burned her notebook. In the notebook, X had written, like, what she really, really felt about church. And she also wrote about specific poems that she really loves to write about. So, when her mom burned the book, notebook, I think that was, like, the last straw for X. So, because she actually ran away from home because of that. So, it was a really interesting read. Um, oh, but, um, yeah, so that's my thoughts. So now I'm going to read the Fahrenheit 457. And, um, yeah, we will go from there.
Okay guys, so I just finished the set of time 451. Um, I think it was intriguing and definitely uh, has been compared to how we live in today's world. So there is the frightening message. I do see like the similarities. But I thought it was okay. I thought it, like, it was a little bit weird at first. I didn't really like the dialogue. I thought it was a little bit stale. Um, the characters were okay. I, I honestly wanted to know what happened to Columbus. Like, I kept on mentioning her name. But everyone has been like so convinced that she's dead. But we haven't, I feel like we haven't given like a proper closure at all. So that's really bum. Because I really wanted to know what happened to her. So. But I honestly didn't feel like we had a proper closure. However, um, the message did felt flat. I understood what it was trying to tell, but I feel like it was a little bit flat. It could have been so much more, but it just felt really, really flat. Um, the start at the beginning is what actually pulled me in. I, I believe it was called, it was a pleasure to burn. Like, that's actually the first sentence. So, right there, it was like, wow, what a way to start a book. So... It's really intriguing when the book starts something like that, so not your typical read, I would say, but yeah, it was, um, I think the, so I honestly feel like some things, how like the books were being described, they could have been done a lot better, so yeah, so the image is kind of the way how he was phrasing certain things that was really making it confusing and harder for me to understand what he was trying to say. But um, I think it's interesting how certain things can change you just like that. So then you're a fireman and all of a sudden you're not. You're not a fireman because of what you had done. So I think it's really interesting that things can be changed just like that based on your actions. So that's, I find that really intriguing. Uh, but also the one thing I do appreciate is that uh, in, I feel like he's that one character where he actually smells to stop to stop smell the roses. Do you know what I mean? Like he actually looks at the nature and, and actually describes the nature. Something that we don't see in many many characters in any books. So I do appreciate that part because I think it's a nice touch. Like, like he, to stop smell the roses or the dandelions, whatever. But I think that was a nice touch from the author. So he didn't rush to nature. He actually just took his time and chilled it. And so yeah, I thought I thought that was really nice. But on that note, that's what I have read for those two bad books. Let me know if you have read any bad books. And on that note, I hope you guys have a really happy new year and. I hope you guys read all the books that you wanted to read. And so, without further ado, Happy New Year. I will see you guys in the next year. Bye!